Hello guys, welcome to our channel CSA Concepts with Parinda. So guys, in this video, we are going to learn about common sub-expression elimination in compiler design. So guys, in our previous video, I have told you about code optimization techniques in compiler, right? We have seen that there are various code optimization techniques. We have seen that there are mainly two types of code optimization technique that is local optimization and global optimization, right? I have also explained you at that time that uh, for code, for local optimization and for global optimizations, we are having different, different techniques. You must have uh, remembered that Common sub-expression elimination is one of the types of local optimization. So, that means what? Whenever you want to optimize a small block of code or a small piece of code, you can use common sub-expression elimination to optimize your code locally. Fine? So, in this video, we will see in detail what is common sub-expression elimination and we will see that how it works with the help of example. So, Common sub-expression elimination is a compiler optimization technique that searches for instances of identical expressions. Fine. That searches for instances of identical expressions. Now, what is identical expression? Identical means same. Fine. Identical expressions means same expressions. So, it searches for instances of identical expressions. That is, they all evaluate to the same value and replaces them with a single variable holding the computed value. Got it? What we are doing here? In common sub-expression elimination, what happens that we are having the piece of code. In that piece of code, we will find the value. Fine. We will find those piece of value that are repeatedly written and they all evaluate to the same value. Fine, we will find out such expressions and then what we will do, we will replace those expressions with a single variable and that variable will actually hold the computed value. Got it? Basically, common sub-expression elimination is about eliminating the redundant expressions. So, in simple word, you can say that, in simple statement, you can say that. Common sub-expression elimination, that is CSE, is about what? Eliminating the redundant expressions. So, if there is any redundant expressions, if there are any expressions that are repeatedly written in many lines of code, you can simply eliminate them, remove them, and in the place of those redundant expressions, you can write a single variable that will hold the actual value. Like, you can see here in the example, I say this is the example given. A is assigned the value B cross C plus G and D is assigned the value B cross C cross K. Fine, this is the value. Now here, if you want to um, optimize this code with the help of common sub-expression elimination, so the very first thing that you need to do is you have to search for instance of identical expression. So, you have to search that is there any identical expression or is there any same expression that is coming repeatedly. So, yes. See, B star C, B star C. This is the piece of code that is uh, that we can see repeatedly coming and obviously B star C will give always the same result. B star C, B star C. That means B is multiplied by C. So, how we can optimize? So, see, with the help of common sub-expression elimination, we are trying to eliminate B cross C from these two equations. So, how we can do that? In this way. We will take one temporary variable TMP and we are assigning the value B cross C here. That means what? We will multiply B with C and we will, and we will store the multiplication result in this value temp. Now, what we will do is in these two equations, instead of B star C, we will directly use this temp. So, A is equal to TMP plus G and D is equal to TMP multiplication by K. Fine. Simply in place of B cross C, we are using temp. And what is temp? Temp is the variable in which already the value of B star C is stored. Got it? So, this is how common sub-expression elimination is 
used for optimizing our code so i hope this definition the concept and the example is clear to you in case you have any uh, doubt you can always ask in the comment section and if you found this video helpful please give it a like button and please share it with all your friends and classmates thank you so much